everybody, Jill from Two Dogs Media. Just going to do a quick walkthrough to show you WordPress 5.4, which should be getting released on March 31st. So just want to give you a heads up on what's coming. So when you do your WordPress 5.4 update, the first thing you may notice, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to show as a pop-up or a link, but there's something new called the Welcome Guide. And it's just a, a mini slideshow um, with a little information about the editors. But if you want to ever see it, it's here. It's called the Welcome Guide. Just a tiny slideshow, give you a couple pages, and then it'll take you to a more in-depth guide, just in case you need more information about the block editor. So that's one of the new things. The other new thing is the, um, it's supposed to be automatic that when you update WordPress 5.4, there's going to be a different page. It's going to default to a full screen editor page. If you haven't seen what that looks like, it's this. Okay, so if you do your update and then you see this screen in your post or your page, don't freak out. Just come over here and uncheck it. Okay, that's all there is. You can leave it on, you can leave it off. So that is the second thing. If you want to not have full screen mode ever be the default, there is some code you can put into a functions file. I did give you um, in the post where this video is, there should be a link that'll take you to what that code is. If you would rather have us do it, we'll be glad to do it for you for a nominal fee. Otherwise, you know, just click this when you need to and it'll take you where you need to go. So that is it on that. One of the new features that is really cool is this. This is something I've always had to do in HTML and it was very frustrating. They finally gave us a different option. So you have a paragraph, you want to highlight this text in a different color. You just highlight the text that you want to change the color of. You click the more rich text controls arrow. Click text color. And now you have your color palette. You can choose a default color. You can add a custom color. I'm going to make mine purple. And there you go. So now you have this really cool way of changing color of any text you want. And you can make it, every, any text can change color. So you can have multiple colors in one paragraph block. Okay, so if you've already changed the color of the text, it'll show you that. Okay, so like if I go here, I don't see that A, but if I go here, I do. So you can easily just change the color anytime you want. So it kind of saves it as a group of text. So that is that. Then the other thing I want to go over is the ad addition of social follow icons. Um, so this is kind of cool. It'll be good for author bios and boxes and you can use them on your pages as well. If there's you know some pages maybe you want to do different follows on but it's kind of cool that they added this. It's something that was needed. Um, the options for the social outlets are huge. So you can see all the different options. You can put Pinterest up here. Um, you can put anything you want. The reason why WordPress is darker than the rest right now is because WordPress is the only one that has a link in it. So they will not show on the front end. You can have 27 in here, but they won't show on the front end until you have a link in the enter address box. Okay. So to delete them, if I want to get rid of LinkedIn, I just do this and then remove. Okay. So each icon is kind of considered like a mini block. Okay, Twitter, maybe I want to put this one at the end. Okay. Um, so you just enter your address here and then just click anywhere else and you're good to go. If you click on the whole box, it'll give you some styles options. So this is the default that we're using now. You can have logos only without the color background. You can have pill shape. Okay. And that's it. So that's your social icons, a new cool feature. This is our latest posts block. So in the past, the latest post block only really gave the option to show title, post date, and post content. They finally gave us our featured image. Yay, so we can all do a happy dance. So your options here are now, you can have your post content. Okay, you can do an excerpt, which is what I have here. You can control how much text you want in an excerpt. You can have the full post if you want. Okay, you can display your post date. It shows up underneath. Display featured image. You can choose different sizes. Maybe I want to do large. I'm going to go down. Then for sorting and filtering, you can do oldest to newest. You can change you know, how you want this to be seen. Category, if I had categories set up, which I don't, they'd all be listed here. So you can just choose the category that you want to pull those posts from. And then number of items, maybe I only want to do two. And I'm going to do newest to oldest so you can see the pictures. 
And then for the images, you can actually change the alignment. So obviously this doesn't look very good, but if I choose left align my image, I got a nice list. Okay, you could do your grid, which obviously now I don't want left align, I want center align. Okay. You can change the number of columns as well, so you can have as many columns as you want. So this is really great, obviously, for posts. So now every post, you, know, you can, whatever category it's in, you can show it by category if you don't have it custom coded to work that way. Okay, so that is the latest post block, which is now new. So we covered social icons, we did our latest posts, we did the link. Now we're gonna talk about buttons. So there's this really cool new button block. Now there's always been a button block, but it was always one button at a time. Now you have the luxury of doing multiple buttons. So button two, button three, and not only that, you can make every button different. So I can have button one, background, maybe I wanna make it a gradient. Okay, and there's preset gradients. You can also custom code gradients. So um, if you have a developer you work with and you have a certain color scheme for your branding, you can set um, a gradient within your functions file and that would show up here. Uh, button two, maybe I just wanna make it black with red text. Button three, I wanna make gray. Okay, so now I got all my buttons, I'll do black text. Um, I got all my buttons set up. I can also do, and you can change it in here as well. Okay, so you can play around a little bit. But border radius, you can do borders. Okay, you can set it to open in a new link. And then to add your link, you're just gonna click on here, enter your URL, and then just click anywhere you want, and you're good to go. So that is super cool as well. Um, and that kind of just covers the updates for 5.4. So any questions, let me know. And I hope this was useful, and have a great day, guys.